Guys, we got the 450 SS. We've got Joel down here on the 450 SS and Dylan on a Honda CBR 500. We're about to drag race and see which one's faster, man. Comment, what do you think is going to be faster, the 450 SS or the 500 CBR? We'll do a couple of rolling passes and see what happens. Here they come. Oh, yeah. And the 451. Here they come. was faster. Yeah, that thing rides so good, man. All right, Honda CBR 500, awesome motorcycle, but the CF Moto 450 SS, it won. I don't want one. So Dylan and Joel have swapped. Dylan is on the 450 SS now. Joel is on the Honda 500. They're gonna roll and start, see what happens. Dylan with the wind barely on the 450. He wanted to swap and make sure that his weight wasn't the difference. He weighs just a, a little bit more than Joel. Good job, son. All right, and plus, Dylan hadn't had any seat time on the 450, so I'm sure it felt a lot different. Shifting and all that, just it's, the ergonomics is different, so it's hard to push a machine when you're not comfortable with it yet. He ain't had much seat time on it, so we're probably probably gonna run again. Let's see. There, they, here they come. Here they come. Uh, I think Dylan got a late jump. Dylan definitely caught him on the top end, but I couldn't tell from way back here. It looked like. He, uh, I don't know if he missed it, the shift or shifted late. Didn't look smooth, but on the GoPro and Insta360, probably could see a little better what happened. All right, one more race. Here we go with Dylan on the 450. I'm not sure what happened, we're gonna see. Boy, they're right there together. It's so hard to see and capture that. Of course, I haven't watched the GoPro and Insta360 footage, but I'm sure it's gonna tell the story.
you think, bud? It's definitely not. It's got to be body weight. Huh? It's got to be body weight. Not that much difference. I guarantee you it's enough, though, to make that much difference. 40 pounds. I mean, that makes a difference. And uh, from down here, I can't tell, but on the run before this one, you get on somebody that. missed a gear or I something. Did. Yeah, I missed third. I thought you did. And that's why I wanted to go again. And then the first run we went, when that bike, whenever I would just gap it and first to second, it never tried to pick up on me. It just stayed flat yeah. and dug in and went. This pulled the front tire when I switched to second. Right. I revved out, I dumped the clutch, and it picked the tire up, and I kind of had a mini panic moment. <laughs> and let out and yeah, yeah. Again, and at that point, it's too, you're done. Right. Well, that's why I was telling the people that you hadn't had any seat time on this yet, and to hop right off the Honda to get on here, the ergonomics feel a lot different. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, wouldn't y'all say? Here feels like junk, no joke, compared to that. Like, comfort, like, it just feels, this one feels way cheaper of a bike than that does. Wow. Well. And this one just sits completely different. Your yeah. sitting position, your feet position, it, it's, it looks the same, but it's different. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, I felt that because I've drove the CBR and driving that, I felt so much more comfortable on that. Like, y'all have had way more seat time on the sport bikes, super sports. I felt so uncomfortable on that that I didn't even really want to drive it. <laughs> like, I felt, no, I didn't feel yeah. confident in handling it. Yeah. But when I hopped on this, and I felt like I felt like, hey, let's go, let's go across country, man. Like I, I felt good on it. So, yeah. Uh, y'all want to swap and race one more time? I definitely want to get back on that. Okay. All right. <laughs> swap. I'll turn the cameras back on and capture all of it. them out but both of them are super competitive guys and they don't care what they're on they don't want to lose especially to each other so they're going to push it <laughs>